let's try it out. We get into logmein.com, www.logmein.com. And here we are on our remote PC. Uh, we type in our email address and the password for our LogMeIn account that we assigned in the earlier step when we set up the, the account. And it shows that we have one computer online. So we click on that and we get a little few flashing screens as it makes the connection. We give our PC password. Here this is the PC password. And then we select our choice. Uh, in this case, we're going to be doing a remote control of our PC. So it finishes the connection and displays our screen. This is the screen on the home computer. So first of all, what we'll do is uh, make it a full screen mode. And then because the screens are different size, the screen on the home PC is much larger than my laptop, I'll go down and make it actual size. So what we'll have to do is scroll around on the screen a tad bit, but at least it'll, the, um, everything is more legible. And we'll go up to the top of the screen and select TRX Manager to turn on the radio and check our frequencies. Let's see. Okay. And let's bring up our control panel. And it shows uh, 20 meters. Looks good. It's default at uh, CW since we're in that portion of the band. So we'll bring up our, our memories, our PSK memories, and uh, scroll down here. Double click on the 20 meter PSK, which sets it to uh, USB. And uh, come over here, and we'll let's broaden up the widen up the filters a little bit. And there we go. Yeah, that takes care of the radio portion. Uh, you can see the S meter reading, so we're getting some signals in from the antenna. Now let's go into the Digital Master 780. That's the HRD's PSK31 and RTTY software. Interface is really nice with the Signalink USB that we've got between the radio and, and the computer. So we're running the Digital Master 780 beta program. And by default, the last time I ran this program, it came up in full screen. Now, at first, let's take a look and bring up the Super Browser. And, ah, I see some traces there, so it looks like there's some activity. As we move around, the screen chases the mouse, so we'll take a look at fixing that for in just a second. Ah, there we go, we're starting to decode. Let's scroll over to the right. And look at the bottom waterfall there. Well, let's make this screen a little bit smaller so that it matches the size that's on the laptop. A little slow here. Okay, there we go. We're at the top. We'll uh, take it out of full screen mode for the application. Go back down here on the bottom. Let's drag the the bottom corner up a little bit so that it fits into our laptop screen a little bit easier. If your if your home PC and your and your laptop are the same size screen, then you don't have anything to worry about. Everything will match. But uh, you could also go full screen mode with the LogMeIn software, which I've done before, and it's pretty good, but um, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. All right, let's see, we've got several signals that are being decoded here. Let's do some proof of the pudding here that we are actually on the radio and see if we can't, um, okay, let's see if we can't make a contact before we close out this video. First, let's adjust the screen a little bit more here. Everything that you want to do on your PC, pretty much, you can do remotely using the LogMeIn software here. And let's go over to our PSK31 screen. I see some, somebody's typing there. 
So we're receiving the signals. We got our, our waterfall in the PSK31 screen as well. Now let's uh, adjust the screen one more time and see if we can move it up. And uh, oh, we're still a little bit too big. Let's bring the, make the waterfall a little bit larger there so we can see more stuff on our small screen that we've got. And as we move our mouse over the, the traces in the waterfall, it, uh, we can kind of decode without making a change. Ah, here's a CQ. Let's see what we can do if we can uh, reply back here. Double click on the Super Browser window and uh, let's select the call there and that's the call sign and do a reply and it's automatic send. Automatic send will stop the transmission once it's uh, completed. So here we go, we're transmitting. See the little red box in the lower right hand corner as well as on the upper right there indicating that we are in transmitting mode. A little garbage coming back. Yeah, no. All right, let's try it again. Try somebody else here. Well, of course, when you want to do a demonstration, yeah, you can't uh, can't get any signals out. Well, he's not hearing me. Let's move along. Got some good uh, traces on the waterfall. Here's a CQ. Put that in as the call sign and do a send. Let's see if we can get somebody to come back to us. Let's see Honduras and. Let's get the frequency in here. Uh, say QRZ. Here's something, but maybe I was mixed with somebody else. Let's send it again. No, not coming back. Well, let's see. Maybe we'll have more luck if we change our colors. Let's see. Uh, we need something brighter for today for our waterfall. There we go. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> let's see. Let's go over and crank up our wattage a little bit. We're, we're running 35 watts and we're just not being heard. So let's crank it up to, uh, oh, let's see. Oh, 100 watts is too much. How about 39? Let's give it a little bit more oomph. Little uh, loop antenna that I've got. Uh, it must be cloudy or something. <laughs> Let's try it again. Here's here we go. He's done with this uh, CQ. That last one he's doing again. Oh, it's not as clear this time. Uh, there's some traces close by or something, but here we please. Okay, all right. Let's try it. All right. All right. Let's see if he. Here's this one. Ah, look at that. All right. Honduras, a new country for me. And did it from the patio. Could have been from a hotel room. Thanks for the call. All right. Well, beg another one. This is exciting. Uh, <laughs>